Hello, I'm being frank with you. It's Sunday and it's halfway through the day. We didn't get up very early today because it, uh, we were in bed late last night with the Eurovision Song Contest. But being Sunday, I've now done the usual things, the meter readings and a little bit of gardening. And uh, now I'm at my pond, which has kind of dropped. The water level has dropped over the last week or so. Uh, possibly due to high temperatures, maybe it's got a bit of a leak. I know there is a way to drain the pond, I've only ever done it once. And it's uh, a concrete um, drainage tunnel at the bottom. And <laughs> to stop the water running away, years and years ago, before we had the house, somebody put a tennis ball in it. Well, it works, sort of. Sometimes I think uh, maybe they need to play football, who knows. But uh, the tennis ball moves and some of the water drops out. But I don't think this is the problem at the moment. I think it's just last week, no rainfall and um, hot weather and the pond level dried out. So my solution is the <laughs> solution, no pun intended, the garden hose. The garden isn't always covered in building materials. Anyway, the builders have left me an extra long hose. So I'm not only adding to the water in the pond, I'm also um, aerating it. It's better if you can spray it so it gets some bubbles into the water. The, uh, the hole underneath is at the end where the water would normally, at a higher level, go over the weir. And then it goes into a drainage channel at the back of the pond, which then goes all the way along and down and eventually reaches Loch Lomond. But that's a long way away. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on the newts in the pond. That's all that's left. 4,000 spawn, some tadpoles. Tadpoles all disappear. It's the same every year. I sometimes think it's uh, the newts which take over. They just eat them. And we must have dozens of newts in here. They're not very big, only about five or six centimeters. It's always surprising how much an animal eats in a day. It's surprising sometimes how much humans eat in a day. Talking of which, it's probably time to make lunch for the boys. My wife has gone somewhere for hot stone massage or something like that, but she'll be back in time for lunch. I didn't plug in the Tesla last night. I've left it till this morning. Hopefully we are getting lots of sunshine today, so I'm charging up the Tesla on solar power. I always think it runs better on solar power. It certainly runs a lot cheaper. Ah, we have some new visitors this year. A pair of swallows are trying to nest in the uh, garage. But um, I've noticed it quite early. The nest has only just started. First few globs of mud up on the rafters at the top. So I've put a net over the door. Now, it would be more sensible if we actually had a door. But the last builder we had managed to rip the door off and didn't replace it. So I put a net. Unfortunately, it doesn't go all the way to the ground. So I've had to substitute with a piece of wood here. I can never do that. Ah, well, no practice required. Anyway, the swallows have now done something like 20 fly pasts, flies past, whatever, you know what I mean. They've gone past it 20 times, flying quite quickly. A couple of times they actually stopped and just hovered there and looked at the net and they seemed to kind of chatter to each other, but um, I can't have them in because they make such a mess. Every time they leave the nest, they, say they poo on everything and and since the car is so close, I really don't want that. Uh, so, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully, they'll find a new home somewhere else. The swallows are clearly not happy about what we've done with the door. They're flying backwards and forwards. Sometimes they just stop and they hover right in front of the door. So, I, mean, I hope they get over it soon. I don't want to feel bad, you know. It's late. Time for bed. I hope you've had a good weekend. Ah, the working week starts again. My first working week for a while. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, I'll keep you informed all the way through. Best till next time, I'll. Cheers.